Hi, I'm Lady Trample from Tricks and Bowls, and in this episode of Tricks and Bowls, we're going to be breaking down the ho-ho, aka a handstand. So, firstly the handstand, it's a momentum-based trick, so the bigger the ramp you're on, the easier it will be. A good starting place is about a six foot ramp. What I'm going to be demonstrating on today is about a three and a half footer, maybe four foot at max. So it means that I'm going to have to be exerting a lot more energy myself. So if you are confident, try it on something bigger, it'll be easier in the long run. So the first thing that we're going to be thinking about is our body. I want us to think about pumping all the way down the first transition, continuing our pump all the way up to the next transition so that we're really holding onto that momentum. Now, as you get towards the coping, you are going to swing your arms towards the coping and grab it. It's easier if you actually latch on to the coping with your hands and thumbs, it avoids slipping out, but you can also place your hands on the deck. Once we place our hands down, we are then going to pivot our body, staying compressed. This is really important. So stay compressed, pivot your body until your butt is hanging above your head. Then and only then are you going to extend your skates towards the sky. Now, the reason we want to wait is that if we're impatient and we kick out partway through that pivot, we're actually going to stop that momentum and you're going to end up with what we call a limp handstand. It happens to me all the time and what happens is that I basically can't hold it. It's only when I've gone all the way up and then extended that I can hang out there until I'm ready to go back down. All right, so the way we're gonna break this down, you are gonna drop into the transition, pumping down, pumping back in, swinging your arms out, and that's it. Just get comfortable placing your hands on the coping. The next step is to practice pivoting your body up. So actually trying to find that moment where your butt is hanging above your head. See how long you can hold that. And then the final step, once you've gotten that on lockdown, is to then extend your body. Once you're there, you're in a ho-ho. So, compress, reach for the coping, Stay compressed and pivot, extend, and then when you want to go back in, you're going to compress again, pivot your body back down, and place your skates back in your natural skating stance. There are a couple of other tips that are going to help with this. If you think about where you're looking, that's going to help give you really good form. If we're looking forwards when we're doing our handstand, that's going to give us the best form. You can absolutely look at your hands, but as you see, the second I start to look up, my back starts to arch. And then if I actually look behind me, which is a tendency that a lot of people have or look in front of them where they were going originally, it's gonna create a big arch in the back, which is actually gonna give us more of a donkey kick style handstand. It's very hard to get completely vertical with that. The other thing that I see happen quite a lot is a kickoff with the toe stop. As you're skating up, instead of using your momentum, you're actually going to push your toe stop down and try and kick your skates up in what I call like a scissor kick. The problem with that is that our skates are really heavy, so are our bodies. I'm a bigger bodied skater, which means there's a lot of weight for me to try and get all the way from inside the transition to the top. It's gonna to be hard for me to get all the way vertical that way. So instead, if we think about compressing our bodies and then staying nice and tight all the way to here, we're gonna have much stronger form, much better handstands. It's gonna be more fun altogether. All right, so now that you've got your handstand, we're actually gonna move on to the ho-ho drop-in. Now, the trick with this is that you should be a competent cartwheeler, good at the handstands or ho-hos, and you also need to be able to drop in. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand next to the coping, facing in, we're gonna cartwheel on our strong side, and then we're gonna stop halfway through that cartwheel. So you're almost gonna pause your cartwheel into a handstand. And from there, you are then gonna compress and pivot and drop in. So it's almost like the second half of the handstand, slash ho-ho, combined with a cartwheel at the start. If possible, you're gonna avoid putting your toe stops down just for good form. All right, so now that you've had a chance to play around with the ho-hos and handstand drop-ins, I challenge you to show me your ho-ho. So on Instagram, tag chicks and balls, hashtag show me your ho-ho, and let's see what you got. Good luck. For more information, head to our website, chicksandballs.com.